blender. I hope it works. What is it? You wanna, you can put it in the test and see because we're gonna move it to. Oh, no, 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 Los Angeles to head over to Vegas and oh my god this trip isn't going so smoothly <laughs> everyone is tired and we are trying to make it to Vegas in one piece um, we're definitely gonna get there around four maybe five o'clock in the morning and then we're planning to stay there for a couple days Afterwards, we're gonna head over to Horseshoe Bend. But yeah, this trip was done so last minute because originally we were gonna go to Yosemite, but California required you to make reservations for all of the national parks. On top of that, California also decided to cancel everyone's reservations because of the forest fires. And so we decided we're gonna go out of state. Oliver is getting some food while Julie is going to fill up the car and then I have to look up some places for us to sleep in Vegas. It's really hard right now trying to plan everything so last minute. <laughs> so we finally arrived in Vegas. We were trying to look for a hotel here in Vegas since we arrived really late or really early I guess and we're here at the palace station it's about 5 30 and we decided that we're going to try the oyster bar and I've been here once before but I know Julie had mentioned that she wanted to try it out I called them to see how long the wait was going to be and they said about 30 minutes so Johnny Julie and Oliver are waiting in line while I'm here vlogging we're gonna have the pan roast, the gumbo, and just try some of the foods out here. Anyways, I'm really excited to try it out again since it's been years since I've been back. Oh. This will be our first time having white castle. So tiny. Cheers. Cheers. Yellow. Earl of Sandwich. Woo! We go 
Wait a minute, dog. Hey, it's Earl in. <laughs> <laughs> Lunch number two at Earl's is sandwich. How's the trip so far? It's amazing. <laughs> this is Julie. We used to work together at Avalon together and now we're great friends. So our plans changed and we couldn't go to Sedona but instead we went to Flagstaff. We ended up getting a hotel last minute on Hotels.com. We checked in and then hiked a place called Sandy Canyon for a little bit. Now we're here at Mother's Brewing Company. Johnny, Julie, and Oliver are getting our drinks while I'm here holding our spots. And then early tomorrow morning, we're planning on driving all the way up to Horseshoe Bend to see the sunrise. So far this trip has been a little bit uneasy for me because I usually like to plan things but a lot of our plans have not been going through. I am making the best of it. Luckily for me I'm with Johnny, Julie and Oliver because they make it really worthwhile but there's something about me that I don't like this uncertainty and this off the beaten path type of schedule. I am learning to roll with the punches this trip and it's a learning curve for me. Beautiful flight. Thank you. So I put it in order of bitterness. So one is at the end and then six is at the end. Oh, good crap there's so many freaking people here like I don't remember this many individuals here I remember coming here with Sonia one time and there wasn't that many honestly while we were walking along the trail I felt like we looked like ants just crawling up to the rim of Horseshoe Bend but I mean it's a popular spot and I definitely think people should come here Horseshoe Bend, I recommend going to Tuba City to check out the Navajo dinosaur tracks. You can see dinosaur prints across the land and because this is on native land, a lot of the Native Americans will provide tours for a small donation and it's worth it if you have the chance to check it out. Yeah, I can see that's their like, like area.
We are now heading over to the Meteor Crater National Landmark in Arizona. I found it online as I was looking up things to do on our way to Phoenix, Arizona. The really cool thing is, is that this area is very secluded and it has like an educational vibe to it as well. There are little fun activities such as watching a movie and how the meteor crater formed. We were able to see the little piece that landed into the crater, as well as read other informational things about the crater in Arizona. Once you got outside, you get to see the meteor crater from atop and it looked magnificent because of how wide it was. <laughs> We're at the meteor crater here in Arizona and it's so cool. So cool. Definitely recommend coming here. <laughs> and it was a perfect ending to the day because the sun was setting just beyond the horizon. Right now we're here in Phoenix, Arizona. After the meteor crater, we drove straight to Phoenix to our hotel and then went to dinner. Since we got in late last night, there wasn't much to do in Phoenix, so we ended up just sleeping. On our last day, we decided to go to a restaurant called Chelsea's <laughs> Kitchen. Chocolate. Three beer. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, that's funny. That's actually really funny. And because we had to work back into the office, we decided to just head back home. Thank you for following me on my journey to Arizona, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.